How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Virginia's Democrat Attorney General, Mark Herring, coming out and saying that when he was 19 years old, he went to a college party and put on some blackface and a wig to look like the rapper Curtis Blow. This is in the year 1980. This is just a few days after he said, Mark Herring, their Attorney General, that is, that the current governor, Ralph Northam, should resign because of some pictures that came out in a 1984 yearbook when somebody was wearing blackface or a KKK costume. The reason why I say somebody is because Northam came out and said, that's not me in my yearbook picture, but we'll leave that right there for now. Justin Fairfax is Ralph Northam's Lieutenant Governor, who is one rank above Mark Herring, their Attorney General. He has to defend himself from a rape allegation that came out a couple of days ago that happened allegedly in 2004. Now the media had that story for like a year and didn't publish it for whatever the reason may be. Oh, they said because it was not seen as valid, it was not a lot of evidence for that, but that same media has no problem outing people like Brett Kavanaugh on stories that have zero evidence much less evidence than was in a Justin Fairfax case, but I digress for now. Let's get back to my man, Mark Herring. What's going on here with Virginia politics? At this point, I could go back to Virginia and be the governor myself. If the current governor, Ralph Northam, resigns, which there is a lot of people in the Democratic Party saying he should, next in line would be the lieutenant governor, Justin Fairfax. But Justin Fairfax has the rape charge. If it ain't Justin Fairfax, it would be the attorney general, Mark Herring. But Mark Herring has his own blackface controversy he's dealing with. So who's going to be the governor? I don't really know. Going to Capitol Building and find some janitors or something in Richmond. I don't really know what's going on. But this is a Democratic Party. I'm not surprised at all. Have you seen any Republicans do anything like this? Wearing a blackface? You know, trying to be Michael Jackson or Curtis Blow or any kind of stuff like that. Have you seen that? Have you ever seen anything like this where you don't know who the governor is going to be? Because one governor is embattled. Another candidate that could fulfill the shoes is also embattled. And then a the third guy is also embattled. What's really going on? Now, it's interesting how Mark Herring came out and said that Ralph Northam should resign because of his yearbook pictures. But now... A couple of days later, he's confessing to wearing blackface and the wig himself. I mean, what probably happened was he got a phone call from somebody and said, hey, remember that party in 1980? I got pictures, so you better put out a statement right now to get out in front of it, because if you don't, it's going to look really bad on you. So that's probably what happened. Either way it goes, Virginia's kind of in a bad place. Even if Mark Herring was to become the governor, he would still be a bad choice. So was Justin Fairfax, but Mark Herring is a gun grabber. I did a video, well, actually a few videos about him at least about two or three years ago now because he was the guy that was behind revoking Virginia's concealed carry reciprocity agreement with other states. Basically, we have an agreement right now that says if you have a concealed carry permit from Virginia, it's good in at least 25 or more other states. Prime example, if you live in Norfolk, Virginia, and you drive to North Carolina, which is like less than an hour away, your concealed carry permit will be valid there. You don't have to go to Raleigh, North Carolina, the capital, to get a concealed carry license there. Okay, but Mark Herring repealed that. Now, fortunately, it got reinstated, so we're good to go on that. But he did try to do that. He is a big time gun grabber. So he wouldn't have been a good choice anyway. I think we need to start from the beginning, have a totally new election because this ain't really going right. You got somebody that's in there that could be a rapist, two guys that are considered to be racist. And I don't use these terms lightly. I don't think that Justin Fairfax is guilty because let's find out what's really going on. Let's do an actual criminal investigation and have a conviction or exoneration before I say he's anything. All I know right now is that he's accused of doing something. And as far as Ralph Northam and Mark Herring, we have confessions from them that they did put on blackface. So according to the Democrats' own standards, the two guys with the blackface are racist, and 
Justin Fairfax is a rapist because hashtag believe women, right? Okay. Anything that's done against a so-called minority, any kind of microaggression or whatever is racism, right? So let's have that standard apply to these guys if the Democrats really believe in it. If they don't believe in it, then you know what's all BS. I saw somebody in the airport approaching Bernie Sanders trying to talk to him about Justin Fairfax. He had this fake phone call. Now, do you believe Justin Fairfax is an accuser? He's an accuser. Okay, Ari. Okay. What time are we down? Excuse me. Stop you're not on the, you're not on the phone. You're okay, not on the phone. Excuse me. Sir. I'm asking you a question. The same thing with Democrat National Committee Chair Tom Perez, also a fake phone call. You know, they got the phone to their face, but the screen is white. <laughs> it's like, come on, man, you're not on the phone. What are you doing? Stop playing these games. All right. You don't want to answer the question. See, they don't want to die on the hill having to defend these guys because in reality, they probably want to defend them saying, oh, it was a long time ago. They were in college. They were just trying to, you know, be like their idols. Michael Jackson, Curtis Blow, Artis and that. The rape charge, unsubstantiated, but they can't really do that because they did not do that for the other side. Ralph Northam, Justin Fairfax, and Mark Herring all trashed Ed Gillespie, who was a Republican candidate for governor, calling him a racist, calling him all kind of obes, obics, and this with zero evidence. Meanwhile, you have Justin Fairfax with a rape allegation, okay? Then you have Mark Herring dressing in blackface. Then you have Ralph Northam, not only dressing in blackface, but also advocating for late term abortions, which is the catalyst for all of this that is coming out. OK, if it were not for the whole thing with late term abortion, then nobody would have dug into Ralph Northam's past to find that yearbook picture. And then since it was a little bit of questioning about him, the rape charge came back up about Justin Fairfax. And then since it was so much heat on the both of them. All eyes turned on Mark Herring, and then he had to confess about wearing blackface at a party. So the whole thing about late-term abortion is what sparked all of this. That is Ralph Northam's own fault. But you're going to see more of this from the Democratic Party. They've become so far left, so far out there, that they say crazy things. People are going to get into their background and figure out more about them to try and bring them down. And I'm not mad. I'm not hating or anything like that because it's their fault. They did it. If they weren't the ones that came out and said things like this about abortion, then we wouldn't be here right now today. So at the end of the day, as I close, I don't know who's going to be the governor. It could be anybody. It could be the pool man. It could be the repair man. It could be Aquaman. I don't know who's going to be. I could be the governor at this point. You could be the governor at this point in the Commonwealth of Virginia. But what are your thoughts? Do you think that all these people are guilty as charged as far as being a racist and or a rapist. I can't say the whole thing about being a rapist because I don't have the evidence for that. Nor can I really say the whole thing about being a racist, but I'm not going down the hill to defend these guys at all. If somebody says, hey, I think Northam is a racist because of his picture, I say, hey, man, I'm right there with you, boss, because that's really indefensible. The thing about Justin Fairfax Democrats would look at a Republican as guilty if they had any kind of allegation like that against them. They were trying to call Trump a rapist for saying that women allow you to do certain things, allow you, let, permit, give access to, all right? But Justin Fairfax has an actual allegation from a woman that's kind of credible because he did say that they had a sexual relationship, but it was consensual. So they did have some kind of connection. The question is, was it consensual or not? Who knows? But that is all I got to say. And I'll close with this. Virginia politics is a mess and it's all their fault. It's all controlled by Washington, D.C. It ain't really Virginia what you're seeing. You're seeing big D.C. politics just with Virginia as the staging area for whatever they're trying to do nationally. But I'll leave that right there. Whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.